but there are some major challenges with Markdown files. Most importantly, they are static. They're living inside of your machine and they cannot catch up with your project status. So for example, you're probably working in the same project with many different people and your project changes over time, but your Markdown files can. So you have to update your files very manually. And as I said earlier, your coding agents tend to create a bunch of Markdown files in your project. And you know, it can be really overwhelming when your project grows. So as you can see that when I code with my agents, it generates a bunch of trash markdown files. So I have to be the one to clean this all up, which is, you know, again, very manually. Another thing that you have to be looking for is that coding agents, most of the time they have their own memory files, which are again, markdown files. And these files are preloaded into your context window. So for example, with cloud code, we have cloud.md. For now, the memory files only take up uh, over 2K tokens, which is okay in my opinion. But as I said earlier, when you have many projects or your projects grow over time, it can be really expensive to your context window. 